hello in this video I'll show you how to trace and fix a fault in a CCTV camera installation now this is an outdoor camera that I'm going to be working with it doesn't display on the screen anymore and before then it was displaying black and white so even after tracing the fault I will still have to replace the camera because of the camera quality has dropped now since this is an outdoor camera one of the things you have to look out for is uh, with the, the power because it is exposed to weather rain storm and all kinds of things so I'm going to open up this camera and then I'm going to check the connections and if there's a fault within the connection I'll identify it and I'll fix the problem so the first thing I want to do is to remove the screws that is holding the camera so that I can get access to the cables the BNC cable and the power cable those are the two major cables within a CCTV camera I'll check um, voltage reading on the power cable and then check uh, the um, continuity on the BNC cable So that, that is, um, I'm going to cover this camera now and then I will open it up. The sensors, these bulbs around the camera is supposed to display light each time um, I cover the camera up this way because it is sensitive to light. So if I cover it up this way, it is sense that there's darkness around and then it to, um, the light will come on. But you can see this camera, no light is coming on which means um, is a problem somewhere either the camera is bad or power is not coming to the camera so I've been able to open up this um, the the park rest and I nearly noticed something that there is a broken park cable here but just to confirm, I'm going to test with my multimeter to be sure that this is getting the right voltage from the power supply unit. So with my multimeter, I'm going to do voltage reading on this particular cable. But I have been able to trace a, a fault here. I discovered that the power is broken somewhere and is no longer attached to, to the power clips. But just to confirm, I'm going to use my multimeter to, to test these two points to be sure that there's power coming in here. So I'm going to send my voltage, uh, my voltmeter to 20 volt because um, this CCTV camera is powered by a 12 volt power. So I'm going to set my multimeter to a 20 volt so that I can read a 12 volt. So I'm trying to remove the insulation so that I can um, plug in my probe to the cable. You can see it's, it's reading. I think around 12 volts which means the power is coming here I'm going to bring the, my multimeter to the so that you can see it clearly you can see this is 12 volt the polarity I made I mix the polarity so it's showing minus but don't worry about the polarity I just messed it up but the most important thing here is that the voltage is is the voltage there's voltage on the camera so since there's voltage on the camera I'm going to replace the power clip and then replace the camera because the camera is no longer displaying so I'm going to do the test so that you see that light I'm, you can see this red bulb here sensors lit up as soon as I connected the power properly you 
can see if you look closely you see the the sensors around this uh, is supposed to display red red and they are displaying red so I'm going to replace the power clip and then replace the camera also the camera works just that it doesn't display color anymore so I'm going to just replace the camera anyways so I remove the installation on it and then I will replace the camera so this is another bullet outdoor camera that I'm going to be replacing it with and I will just follow the same procedures plug my BNC cable and my power cable to it remove all uh, remove the the, the coverings on, on the camera so that it displays properly So I'm going to cover it up with this um, with the tape and the reason I'm doing this is because of um, the kind of camera that it is. This is an outdoor camera and then the back rest is outside so it's subject to the weather, rain and storm so I will just put some insulation on, the, on my connections. So as to prevent um, water or any form of moisture from getting into the connection easily. So this is the camera is set up right now. I'm going to screw it to the wall and I'm going to do the camera angle alignment to be sure it, it captures the angle I wanted to capture. And that is it. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time. Take care.